But one more minute, because I see several several names of folks here who uh, wanted to RSVP. And, and as all of you know, if something comes up where you are not able to dial in at the time of our coffee, we send you a, a follow-up uh, note that includes the link, which is on our website. And we actually have a library of all of our coffees with Gina and friends. So any topics that you may want to review again, whether it's around skin cancer or estate planning or cardiac or whatever it might be, you certainly can go to our website library and select something that you might want to, to review again. So um, I think with that, if I have everyone's permission, I would like to get started here. So if I didn't get to greet you personally, please accept my apologies because I do like to have this fun time. This is as much fun for me as just about anything, even, even challenging my boss to finish a Christmas carol sentence and he kind of threw me off. So I do hope that everybody is ready for the holidays. It just always seems to fly in so quickly and you know, at the same time every year, but I'll tell you what, every year I'm like, how did you get here so quickly? So I send along my best wishes to all of you for a healthy and a wonderful holiday season and you know, a festive time to wear yoga pants and eat, a <laughs> uh, festive time to be with those we love and to count our blessings. We did that at Thanksgiving. We had such a nice time counting our blessings because we have so many. And, and I like to do that also during the holidays, the entire season. So, um, so pleased that you're here to hear the conversation with Sharon Lind, our dear friend who you just heard had the Lind family celebration in Montana where it snowed, good for her. She is, Sharon is the CEO of Banner Boswell and Banner Dilla Medical Centers right here in our very backyard. So our presentation today is meant to be informative, but also interactive. I know that uh, Sharon will, I've heard her present many times and she likes to have conversations about what she is most passionate about and that is serving as CEO of these two hospitals. And so if you have a question as we're going along, uh, Joyce and the team here will keep an eye out and you can raise your hand and and she'll unmute you so that you can you can ask your questions. So so let's get on with today's today's presentation. Um, you know things are always changing in healthcare. It's just it's just a fascinating industry, and so that's why it's really important to stay up to date on new developments at your community hospitals. And you know who doesn't want the community hospitals to be the best that they can be? Superior healthcare. So uh, staying informed and being informed by an expert, the caliber of Sharon Lind, is our privilege today. So Sharon, with that, I'm going to mute myself so that you can share what's on the horizon and all the ways the hospitals are keeping all of us safe. Thank you very much, Sharon. Thank you, Gina, for uh, such a warm welcome and introduction. And uh, good morning. It uh, This is this is fun. It is an opportunity. I've got my coffee. I've got my tumbler, so I have plenty. And uh, it, it's it's an opportunity for us to stay connected. I enjoy um, whenever Sun Health or any any organization invites me to come and talk about Banner Health and our community hospitals here in the Northwest Valley. Um, it, it just it's it's a pleasure, and it's certainly an honor to do so. And uh, so I appreciate our time. Before I walk you through, I, you know, as I've got a few slides just to guide some conversation around some uh, major service lines, um, programmatically, uh, some plans for the future, what's new on the horizon as we look at the next, you know, one, three, five years. Uh, but before I do that, um, I want to open it up just with a uh, current state of affairs with the uh, this what we're hoping is our final COVID surge. Um, we are, we have, um, the team has been performing in and out of uh, this pandemic for the last 20 months, um, just remarkably. And um, we have brought in resources and we continue to support. We have supplemental uh, nurses coming in and we really want we are here to serve the community and make beds available for the critical care needs uh, in our communities. So that is our purpose and our mission. And right now we, we have been um, out of 400 beds, we've, we've had up, upwards of 380, 390, uh, nearly at capacity between Boswell and Webb. And uh, 
we, we are seeing about 25, maybe 30% of that is COVID. And we are seeing vaccinated, unvaccinated, uh, folks that have, you know, this is their second round of a, of a respiratory virus that they need some support with. Um, the rest of our patients um, are, are just, we're, we're seeing high acuity. And I, I believe some folks have maybe deferred their care and waited to see their cardiologist or urologist or uh, colorectal specialist. Uh, we're seeing more advanced cancer cases. Uh, we had a fear of that. Um, where folks have delayed going to see their physician. And so I just want to remind you to share with your friends and neighbors that we are a safe place for care. And we know the protocol around um, safety measures with COVID patients and, and our general population. And uh, we're doing our very absolute best to continue those uh, precautions so that we can um, provide quality, safe, reliable care and give you that perception when you come in. Our clinics are doing the same, our urgent cares uh, and our medical centers. So we, we want you to share that with your, with your friends and your family, that we continue to be that safe place for care and don't delay your care. Um, and so we want you to remain, remain healthy and, and get your screenings and your health checkups. So with that, um, I will get into um, some of strategic, strategic updates. And as I walk through some of our service lines, um, I want this to be interactive. So if there's questions, as Gina said, please feel free to jump in and uh, I'll open it up as well and give some opportunity for that. But I wanted to start out um, with just an update, next slide, uh, with our oncology, our cancer care. Just to share with this audience, um, Banner Health this month uh, we shared our 10-year anniversary. We started our partnership with MD Anderson out of Houston uh, with Banner Health 10 years ago. And so it, it's been quite impressive with the work. We established a cancer center in the East Valley at Banner Gateway. And now we have a cancer center down at Banner University, downtown Phoenix, that is in phase three of an expansion. And we have plans for a, a future freestanding cancer center in the Northwest Valley. So as we commit to another 10-year uh, uh, plus relationship, uh, a, a long-term relationship with Banner MD Anderson, we get the benefit of some of the most um, innovative, state-of-the-art um, clinical pathways um, to care for, for uh, patients with uh, cancer diagnoses. And so it, it's, it's just a great honor to be associated with that elite pathway for cancer care. So when we think about oncology, just a, a couple of updates as we've expanded um, our hematology and oncology practice, we acquired uh, Dr. Gandock, Shelly Gandock has been in the, in the West Valley for quite some time, and she joined Banner Health, uh, and that practice we acquired a few months ago, and for some of you that are familiar, this graph on the top left corner, uh, that's Cigna building there in yellow um, with a little pin is on the corner of uh, Del Webb Boulevard and Thunderbird, and we've acquired the first floor of that Cigna building and we are renovating that. And Dr. Gandock will move into that space uh, summer into fall next year. And so we will augment her practice closer to the Boswell campus. And uh, she's a wonderful partner as well as um, our medical oncologists that reside in our Boswell hospital will transition to the Cigna building as well. So I view it as it's, it's a, uh, a bridge for a housing our hematology and medical oncology practice and some outpatient services. We'll have our infusion, um, our infusion center right now at the Boswell West Medical Office building. We'll move to this center as well, the Cigna building, and we'll expand from 18 to about 30, 32, um, IV chemotherapy chairs and bays. So unfortunately there's a need and uh, we'll have a freestanding pharmacy. Uh, so we'll do our compounding and provide chemotherapy and outpatient um, IV uh, therapies as well. So that will provide us 
again, this is this is a somewhat of a bridge to house some of our oncology uh, services, outpatient and and providers. And as we look to the plan is, um, we will build a, a 50, $60 million uh, cancer center uh, on or near the Boswell campus. And so we're, that is in business development. That's, a, that's about a three to five year outlook. Uh, but as we continue to mature our oncology services with our surgical oncologist, our thoracic program, we'll be bringing in um, in 2022, another XI robot for our thoracic and uh, lung partners as well. And as we continue to grow uh, at Webb, our women's health around our breast center, we'll be bringing in uh, GYN Oncology to help support that campus as well. And uh, so we're, we're in the process also of um, recruiting additional uh, surgical oncologists. We have a head and neck uh, recruit that is interested in coming uh, to the Northwest Valley, and that would be about uh, mid-year next year. And so we continue to partner with Banner MD Anderson on um, what further expansions we can have with some of our surgeons and um, everything around a comprehensive cancer care program, very multidisciplinary approach. Um, to build those services. So as we have um, navigators and we have uh, spiritual care and we have nutritionists and we just launched, um, as you, some of you may have heard with Dr. Healy, we have a, uh, a melanoma clinic for skin care uh, and uh, skin cancer. And uh, so he, that is in, in full launch. And so as we continue to take an opportunity to look at what do we have in terms of um, elements of that program for cancer care and what can we continue to build on. So we're very excited about having that future cancer center in the Northwest Valley as we elevate access and mitigate delays and have a more comprehensive integrated uh, network for care around uh, cancer. Many of you- Sharon. Yes. I'm, this is Gina. Sorry to interrupt, but but um, before we get off this amazing cancer program, I would just like to offer up to you and everybody on this call. These MD Anderson cancer physicians have been amazing. They are so they make themselves so available. If if I get a call on the weekend from somebody who's gotten a scary diagnosis related to cancer. I can reach out to these physicians on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday morning, and they are immediately responsive. And they, they will, you know, I've, I've known they've made phone calls to folks who are just very nervous about diagnoses, and they are just a wonderful resource here in our community. So I just wanted to be sure that you were aware of that. I think you and know, I've talked about that, but also everybody on the call. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Gina. You know, and I, I appreciate that, and, and you know, they've been wonderful partners and, and many of you I'm quite sure have been touched in some either directly or indirectly um, with friends, families, um, even some of us directly with cancer. And so it's an opportunity that um, the, once we get that diagnose, diagnosis, that we have access to the best care, the best treatment options, early detection, um, you know, breast screening and prostate screening and, and uh, lung screening program with our CT. We have lung nodule program as well. As much as we can um, prevent um, an early detection gives us more treatment options. And, you know, as we, we take an opportunity to think about um, augmenting also with some of our radiology, our diagnostics and interventional radiology, we just started uh, this, this month in December with having some of our MD Anderson. We have a radiologist group that services both Boswell and Webb. And they do all kinds of reads, whether it's oncology related or general uh, radiology reads and such. And it's our opportunity to work with Banner MD Anderson. So now we now have, starting this month, um, diagnostics provided by MD Anderson uh, radiologists. And so if, if we have a patient that's diagnosed with cancer and they need some diagnostic screenings, they need a biopsy, they need an interventional uh, radiology procedure, 
they will then be guided to a Banner MD Anderson physician. And so um, that is highly coordinated between our existing general radiology group and Banner MD Anderson, but it's our commitment to really bring that specialized care around the imaging and diagnostics and interventional things that need to be done. So um, happy, uh, happy to say that that's been launched. We also, for some of you that may not know, we started um, clinical trials um, at Banner Gateway in the East Valley. We, they run on average maybe 80, uh, upwards of 80 clinical trials at any one given time. And we started, uh, we invested uh, some, some uh, infrastructure, some support, um, Dr. Dragovich and, and our MD Anderson partners to really start a, a clinical trials program. And so that has been underway. And those program, those patients are served right here in the Northwest Valley. And currently we've got about six or seven clinical trials um, centered around lung. So folks that have had some lung cancer diagnoses have access to some state-of-the-art, um, just some cutting edge treatment options. And they have an opportunity to go through um, the clinical trials uh, to, to, uh, as another option for them. So uh, that is important for us to have that research component out in the Northwest Valley. So folks don't have to drive to downtown Phoenix or in the East Valley to have access uh, to those options. So um, any, any questions from our audience? I'm, I'm hoping somebody's watching the chat board as well, um, but I'm happy to entertain any questions around oncology. All right. Sharon, so I don't see any questions in the chat and I don't think anybody's raising. Phil, are you wanting to ask a question? No, no. All right, very good. So we'll go on to uh, want to give an update um, on our next slide about cardiovascular, right? Heart care as Boswell is that heart hospital in the West Valley. Um, happy to share just a, a brief update as we work with Dr. Katheria in our structural heart program. I'm going to go right to that because uh, Gina and friends, we I am happy to share that the uh, Society of Thoracic Surgeons, we were uh, rated Three star is the top rating that a facility can receive for their um, cardiac care. And happy to share that two years in a row, Banner Boswell has achieved that three star designation uh, with the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. So we're thrilled about that. We are the only hospital within Banner Health and uh, I believe the only in the state of Arizona. So that is a testament to the quality uh, of the program and uh, the interventional work that we do and the outcomes that, that uh, we drive as a result. But I wanted to give a shout out to Dr. Katheria and, and our uh, cardiac team. Um, we, we are in the process of, uh, as we have the new tower and our new ED, which many of you helped us fund through our uh, gener Generosity for Generations campaign, and we launched our new ED and, and our new lobby, we uh, had the ability to, we included in that uh, some cath lab space. And it's a connector right to the ED. Um, it is right within that new tower. And we are due to, we, we completed our renovation. It was shelled space when we opened the tower, completed that renovation. We will have our first patient use next week, but that is three state-of-the-art uh, brand new cath labs for Banner Boswell. So the, the um, older cath lab, the modular building, that was a leased uh, building and uh, we will move from that. That location will be um, closed and, and mothballed by the end of this month because we're opening this, these three new cath labs uh, in the new tower. So we're very excited about it. The space is absolutely beautiful. I included a few pictures uh, so you could see that new space, but uh, we're very excited. Uh, to provide that for our patients and our uh, medical staff as well. And wanted to give you an update on, Banner has stepped into a uh, co-management. It's a bit of a partnership with Cardiac Solutions. Cardiac Solutions, um, Cardiac Care Consultants. Uh, we have a lot of independent cardiology groups that support Banner Boswell and Del Webb. And we stepped into some new space with a co-management agreement uh, we are in our first year this year in 21 with Cardiac Solutions. And the, the purpose of the co-management is to come together with 
cardiologist to really elevate um, all the initiatives around access to care when patients present to the ED, pathways for enhanced access, um, assessments whereby they may not need to come to the facility to be admitted inpatient, but maybe they could be treated on an outpatient basis. And so how, what's the pathway around our uh, procedurals, uh, CAS interventions, less, more, less non-invasive uh, type procedures and the pathway to treat them from an outpatient perspective as opposed to being in the hospital. Um, so it eliminates some of the cost of care, provides a pathway, mitigates delays, uh, patients with AFib, uh, chronic or new onset, uh, can be identified, treated in an outpatient setting, treated in some of our cath labs, uh, as opposed to um, waiting to have a, a more invasive uh, inpatient procedure. So a lot of, we work, we, we focus on quality initiatives, outcomes, length of stay, um, readmission rates. So there's a lot of quality indicators that the co-management, we collectively uh, participate with our cardiologist. So it's a great opportunity to elevate the cardiac care and build upon the foundation we have. Um, coupled with that, we opened this year in 2021, uh, three, about three, four months ago, a, uh, a cardiovascular uh, ambulatory surgery center. And it is here in the Northwest Valley and it is in partnership with uh, Cardiac Solutions. But there again, it's an opportunity for outpatient availability for uh, less invasive procedures and gives an, again, access, uh, lower cost, uh, easy, uh, easy and affordable, convenient, and very high quality. So that is in partnership with our Banner Atlas um, division, and it is a joint venture with Cardiac Solutions. So a lot of work in that space with creating access and points of care and uh, serving the continue and growing needs of the community around heart care. So um, any Sharon, questions relative to that? Yeah, could I just jump in, Sharon? Because at one point I recall as we were fundraising uh, to support that amazing emergency uh, department, the transformation of emergency on the Basel campus, I remember a few conversations that we had about um, something like, I don't know, 70% of the admissions into Boswell, maybe 80% come through emergency. And about 50% of those are heart related. So, you know, given our population, I think, um, and just to help me update my numbers here, I think given our population, we do have a lot of, of cardiac situations. So adding the cath labs, adding the outpatient component, co-managing with cardiac care, having somebody the, the caliber of Dr. Kathuria with us, um, I think that really speaks to your vision on how to better serve the community. So are my numbers accurate on that? Your numbers are, Gina, and it's, it's, um, it's, it's a continued focus for us around Dr. Katheria and, and the structural heart team and, and our EP and cath labs. We, we've, had, we've seen such exponential growth, double digit growth. And so as we continue to focus on, there's been a lot of, and Gina, you know this too, through some of our our coffee uh, with Gina and friends. We've, we've had a lot of education and awareness around signs, symptoms, um, folks that have AFib. There are treatment options available before you end up in a crisis situation. So we're attempting to partner with our cardiology groups. That's part of the co-management. It extends to all of our cardiologists that serve our community. It's not just isolated to cardiac solutions. Um, but that's the purpose of it, is education, awareness, earlier interventions, treatment options, and, and, and less invasive. And um, we, we are fortunate enough that we, between Boswell and Webb, from a cardiovascular perspective, we've got every option available to patients with the exception of transplants. We don't do heart transplants. Those go down to Banner University, downtown Phoenix, in the academic setting. But um, we're, we're at the same time, the vascular piece, and Gina, I would add this too, with our vascular partners, we have some community and, and Banner Medical Group partners. Um, 
we're looking to build a more comprehensive program around vascular care and vein health. And that's an aspect of our heart care as well. And we're looking at an opportunity to open uh, a vein clinic, uh, a vascular center here in the Boswell market between Boswell and Del Webb, because there are some outpatient procedures uh, and interventions that could be done in that space as well. So more to come on that, that would be next year, uh, an opportunity, uh, something new on the horizon, but that's just, that's again, part of building a more comprehensive to continue to support the growing needs. So yes, thank you, Gina. And I do see a chat that came in from Linda. She, she signaled us that she was having audio problems with her, but she said her father received extraordinary care at Boswell for his cardiovascular situations. It, it really is the best place. My, my husband, a year ago, had bypassed there with Dr. Kathuria and some of his docs are in the East Valley and we all agreed that he needed to come west to Boswell and have Dr. Kathuria. So Linda, so pleased that your, your dad had such great care there, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good to hear. And I will certainly share that with the team and Dr. Kathuria, um, Dr. Gazul is here uh, and uh, we continue to elevate that program and uh, he is a wonderful partner. Um, he understands all aspects of um, cardiac care, vascular, and then the thoracic piece as well as we partner with, with some of our MD Anderson uh, uh, physicians as well. All right, so on to orthopedics, bone and joint care. And so as we uh, tend to age and exercise and getting up and staying active. Many of you are doing that in your communities. Um, we have, we're, we're blessed in Arizona to be able to have the weather conducive to being active and uh, exercising. And uh, we, we continue to grow our orthopedic program with our core institute and our other uh, Banner Medical Group and community orthopedic surgeons. Uh, we continue to see high volumes in our joint replacement program. Um, we have what we call a same day fast track. There are many of you know, uh, the core Institute um, uh, has a specialty hospital. There are orthopedic uh, procedures that can be done in an ambulatory surgery center environment where it's same day. And we have the ability to create that uh, same day ambulatory um, center right within the hospital in our main ORs. We call it a same day fast track. So if we have patients that are eligible for a, you know, a hip or, or knee replacement, they go through their pre-op teaching, they go through their boot camp, they know what to expect, they come in, have the procedure within our hospital, but it's like a same day ambulatory surgery center where they have their surgery, and they have a safe discharge home. They know what their follow-up care is, their physical therapy, their appointments and such. And we've created that same environment as, as a, a point of access within our main hospital as well. So that, that's a nice option for our patients. And I, as we get to an opportunity with our Banner Atlas partners, um, looking at a multi-specialty, we're doing a market assessment We'd like to build a ambulatory surgery center between Boswell and, and Del Webb, where it will have multi-specialties. So maybe we have three, three ORs and a couple of procedure rooms. Uh, I did this, this work in the East Valley with Banner Health, and uh, it's a, it would, the concept would be a mon around a multi-purpose um, center. We would have orthopedics would be a part of that, as well as general surgery, urology, colorectal. What it does for us is outpatient procedures, surgeries that are otherwise performed right now in our main ORs can be done in an outpatient setting. Again, lower cost, quality, convenient. And what it, it, it actually frees up our main ORs for more complex inpatient cases. So when we think about oncology and cancer care and cancer surgeries, and we think about uh, cardiac surgeries, those are, those are longer surgeries. It ties up an OR. And so they're generally inpatient. So as we take an opportunity with Banner Health to create an ambulatory
Victoria Surgery Center where those outpatient cases can be done, it frees up our main ORs for those more complex procedures. So we're very excited. We're in the business development. That would probably be a, a, two, a 24, 12 to 24 month project to have an ambulatory surgery center up and running. It will make a difference whether it's a new build or we acquire a building and renovate it, make it, make it, uh, make it functional. So we're very excited about that. I think we have an opportunity around back spine. For some of you that have friends and family that um, have chronic back pain, uh, maybe see a pain specialist um, and see if they can be referred to an orthopedic surgeon for some kind of intervention relative to back and spine. Um, we can do a, a pumps and injections uh, and, and back and spine procedures, very complex orthopedics um, surgeries, we can do that and perform those at Webb and Boswell. And so uh, we have an opportunity uh, to support our community in the Northwest Valley because there are on any given, in any given year, there's about a thousand back spine cases, patients that are driving out of the Northwest Valley, going someplace else to have their back and spine surgery. And so that's an opportunity to create awareness that we do have that availability closer to home. We can perform those complex orthopedics uh, surgeries at, at Boswell and Webb so folks don't have to travel. So if there's a gap in any of those needs, as you're talking with your, your community and your friends, um, please make me aware because our, our surgeons um, have capacity. They wanna grow that business. Uh, they want they want to be available to to serve those patients. So that's an opportunity for us to continue to grow the back spine program. All right. Anything around joint and bone health? No questions. All right. And then I want to move to uh, our women's health, um, and and primarily with our our web campus as we have our obstetrical program. Um, excited to share with you a couple of things. This year, we will uh, reach over 2,000 deliveries as we continue to support the growing young families in the surprise Peoria market. And so we're very excited about that. And uh, Banner uh, Dell Webb Medical Center has been uh, also named recently one of the top maternity hospitals in the nation. Uh, to receive maternal care and, and to have a, a obstetrical program. Again, that's based on quality metrics and outcomes, uh, deliveries and care that we provide to, to those young moms and babes. So uh, we're very excited. This is the second year, I believe, in a row that uh, Del Webb has gotten that designation as a top maternity hospital in the nation. So the team is very excited about that. Uh, some of you, Gina, through the foundation and, and donors, many of you supported our nursery renovation at, at, at Del Webb, and uh, we continue to, to use that space. It's absolutely beautiful. We have a phase two renovation uh, coming at uh, Webb for our PACU and triage, and uh, we also have uh, a complete renovation of the labor and delivery uh, and uh, post post delivery care, so that unit could use a refresh, and uh, it's it's been quite a many years um, since we've had a remodel. So that is in the works uh, as well. But we're excited about our continued focus around GYN, and as I spoke to bringing on GYN oncology will be a nice add for that program. Uh, our breast center continues to grow. Uh, melanoma clinic I spoke of uh, recently, and uh, we've had the nice addition of a plastic surgery as an option for some of our uh, female patients as well, and uh, and then the the focus around our vein health, and partnering with Banner Medical Group on the future uh, vision around having a vein center uh, near uh, the Boswell and Webb campus as a, an option for outpatient treatment as, as well. Varicose veins and, and spider veins and just overall vascular health um, because there's a lot of uh, predictors of that as well as uh, many complications that can come from that as well. So a lot of uh, work being done around um, our women's health and uh, pediatrics and children's as well. Hey, Sharon, if I could just jump in for a minute here. 
share some good news with those on the call today that because of this outstanding uh, recognition that Webb has been uh, acknowledged as one of the top maternity hospitals, that allowed us to ask for and receive a $500,000 gift from the Holly Foundation. Some of you might know that, that Bruce and Diane Holly are discount tire folks, and they have really been focused in the East Valley. And when we sent in our request for funding for the, the project at the Louisa Kilman Center for Women's Health, I got a call from the Holly Foundation and they said, we're kind of surprised to hear that you're delivering babies to Sun City West. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> so yeah, so again, just, just wonderful, wonderful care. And the physicians who are recruited for the women's care really do like to span everything from labor and delivery all the way up to menopause and beyond. So it's really a, a great recruitment tool because they like the diversity there. So it's just yep, a absolutely. Big, big benefit from that. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, that is wonderful news, Gina. And thank you for sharing that. Um, you know, it is an opportunity to, to from a women's health perspective, um, you know, from those birthing years to, to you know, pre and post menopausal and, and having all the options in between. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's a it's a wonderful program for us and, and an opportunity for continued growth, uh, particularly at the Dell Webb campus. I, I just see a question in the chat, um, maybe a little more specifics on the plastic surgery. That's probably not like Botox for all. It's probably something else, right? No, it's more of uh, it's it's more related to breast care and uh, you know with uh, folks that have maybe um, a mastectomy. Um, and they've they've had uh, opportunity for reconstruction, okay. reconstructive surgery and plastics uh, relative to that. We don't necessarily we've not opened up a outpatient center around Botox or other cosmetic plastics. I see. Um, yeah, it's really centered around having that option available for uh, more invasive uh, surgical. Okay, options. great. Thanks for the clarification, and Janine, thanks for the question. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so on to uh, digestive health. And uh, I, I'm also mindful of time, but uh, I wanna get to a couple of important things and then we'll close with, uh, with the, any final questions. But um, gastroenterology, GI. So when we talk about digestive health, I think many of us um, have been touched by uh, some form of um, digestive health. And uh, whether it's uh, reflux or um, GERD, uh, folks are asking, Sharon, when are we going to open up a GERD clinic and, and you know, further outpatient um, uh, availability around gastroenterology? We think about um, GI. We, we talk a lot about our endoscopies um, and EGDs and uh, uh, annual screenings for colorectal care. And uh, it's our opportunity as we have, we continue to grow our, our GI, advanced GI colorectal program with our Banner Medical Group physicians, as well as Banner MD Anderson and our community private practice groups as well. And so as we continue to elevate that um, digestive health program, we are working in partnership with Banner Health. Uh, we have an initiative where we will open up a digestive health institute in the East Valley next year. And there will be an institute at downtown Phoenix and happy to, to share with you, we will open a digestive health institute um, or launch that at Banner Boswell uh, late 2022. So when we think about a digestive health institute, it really takes an opportunity with all the um, components we have around digestive health. There's a lot already programmatically in play with our GI, advanced GI, colorectal endoscopy, interventional, uh, that it takes an opportunity to really create a comprehensive multidisciplinary approach around an institute. What does it mean to be an institute? It has all of these aspects to it. It's got a point of access. The institute will merge uh, and, and create, uh, as we have our banner health clinics, there will be navigators in the outpatient clinics that if you have a digestive health concern, they will navigate you to the institute for a proper plan of treatment and, and a course to take. So it's, it's a pathway that um, we can create a, a really uh, comprehensive program around digestive medicine. 
And so we're, we're very excited. It will bring um, very um, integrative, personalized care plans, um, the latest therapeutics and, and treatment options. And, um, you know, again, as we have a lot of those components already in place, um, it, really, it really will package it up very nicely. So we're excited about that. Um, for Boswell. So, you know, when I think about Boswell and, and that campus, a lot will be focused on oncology cancer care as I'm painting that, that future. What's on the horizon as we continue to build would be cancer care and oncology, cardiovascular, thoracic, and then digestive health and everything that is umbrellaed under that institute. So very excited about that. Um, we will also have the orthopedics and general surgery and at Webb, Web, I see that vision uh, for Web is continued focus around um, our women's center, around breast care, oncology, um, labor and delivery, those young families, uh, pediatrics and children's as we work with Banner Thunderbird, our orthopedics program. And so that, that, that's a bit of a distinction between Web and Boswell that I see uh, for today. We have a cath lab at Web but a lot of the interventions uh, that need to be done are brought to, to Boswell. So uh, that's, that's what I really see for, for both campuses as we look at the next one to three uh, to five years. So we're very excited about our dig Digestive Health uh, Institute that's coming uh, next year. So I will move on to, um, just to give you a feel as, as in closing, as we think about these services and programs and continue to build to serve the growing and changing needs of our community, there's a lot of infrastructure that goes with that. And so some of that certainly has come by way of uh, Banner's investments in the Northwest Valley, as well as the Foundation, Sun Health Foundation, and our, our uh, donors and philanthropy in the community. I've already spoke to the Future Cancer Center, project, that's, that's a three to five year outlook. Um, and, and what that, that, that vision is, it's into business development. But again, that'd be about a 50 to $60 million project. Um, the Cigna building that I spoke to earlier is, is kind of that temporary um, smaller center that will bridge us to a future cancer center. Um, and, and so that's, that's, it's very exciting. It will be an opportunity then to have a larger center with everything under one roof. Um, and so we'll keep you posted on those plans. I spoke to the, the women and infants, uh, the women's health, um, the PACU and triage and the labor and delivery renovation at uh, Del Webb. And then the other two things I wanna speak of as we think about Boswell with some of the interventional uh, opportunities we're looking at, right now we have a interventional radiology program as I spoke to. And, but it's in a hybrid room. And so it's shared with some of our other surgeons. And so we are, we are looking at, we have the infrastructure, we have the space, but really creating a dedicated interventional uh, radiology suite. For a 400 bed hospital, we really should be having two to three dedicated suites. And we have a hybrid room that is shared. So that's about a $3 million project to have the state-of-the-art equipment, everything we need for interventional radiology, for uh, procedures that, that, future procedures that could be done here that patients are now having to travel uh, more often to Thunderbird or university to have done. So that is, that is in business development as well. That's a 12 to 24 month project, um, but uh, 12 to 18 months. And uh, that, that is much needed. Uh, the cardiac rehab location, cardiac rehab uh, currently exists in the uh, Boswell West Medical Office building, and we're looking to bring that closer to Boswell, and we have space right above the new lobby that has the glass, it would have visible from the front glass, uh, front, and it would be a nice exercise, health and well-being to have a cardiac rehab center uh, right above the lobby in the new tower closer to the campus, outpatient access. It sends some uh, visibility around the health and wellness uh, of our patients. And so we're very excited. That would be, you know, maybe a, a, a up to $2 million uh, renovation. That's shelled space right now. 
And uh, so our team is working on concept to, to say, what would it take to renovate that space and, and make that move over closer to the campus? So those are some of the things that are on the horizon. Uh, it takes some uh, infrastructure and some renovation projects uh, as, we, as we adjust and grow some of these um, comprehensive programs uh, in our community hospitals. So with that, I will uh, close and thank you for the opportunity to be a part of the coffee today with Gina and friends. And uh, any, any questions or comments, any feedback, I would, I would be very open to, to that. Yes, thank you, Sharon. We can, if anybody has any specific questions or comments, <clears throat> we'd be happy to take those in right now. Uh, it was a wonderful presentation and I took copious notes because it's always a moving target, you know, healthcare is a changing, changing environment. And so I applaud you share being your team to be so innovative and responsive. Uh, really appreciate that because as we've said many times, these, these hospitals are here to serve the residents in our communities, uh, the, the Northwest Valley, and they're here because of wonderful generational donors and they are here and they get these amazing upgrades and innovations it's here for you because of you. And so I like to steal that line from Dr. Kathuria. He's made his life career at Boswell doing amazing cardiac work. And so he loves to say that these hospitals are here for you because of you. So any other comments from anybody that, uh, or any questions of anybody? Okay. Well, I think, that, oh. Thank you, Gina. Uh, for the opportunity, and it was wonderful to, to be a part of this today and to see many of you. And I wish you many blessings during this holiday season. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. Uh, be well and uh, stay healthy. And uh, thank you for all that you do to support uh, our, our community hospitals and our team and our medical staff. Um, you are truly doing worthwhile work for our community and making a difference. So thank you. Oh, Sharon, you said that so eloquently. Thank you very much. And I applaud each and every one of you here today and those who continue to be as generous and supportive. Uh, you know, this really is the time of the year to think about how we give to others and, and how we graciously receive. And so, uh, you know, the journey is, is an impressive one and all of you have participated in amazing ways. We just appreciate all of that so very, very much. So. It's a great joy to be with all of you today. I certainly enjoy these coffees with Gina and friends because, and I do count all of you among my friends, whether you like it or not, I do count you among my friends. So thank you. Thank you for that very much. I think we have a slide for upcoming coffees, Joyce. Here we go. Uh, Tony Yee, who is our, is Sun Health's Chief Technology and Innovation Officer is gonna talk about protecting your identity. He has amazing background in protecting identity and all these crazy scams that come through. So you wanna dial in to hear Tony talk about this. And then you heard Sharon talking a lot about the heart health. You know, Dr. Rawal, who actually is Dr. Gandhok's husband, um, Dr. Rawal will be presenting and the beat goes on. So he's gonna be talking about cardiac health in our February coffee. In March, we'll be talking uh, Dr. Shiva Kumar is going to be talking about colorectal cancer and again, a gastroenterologist with this Banner MD Anderson Cancer Center team who they're just amazing. And then in April, we'll be talking about women's health and what happens when you cough. And of course that depends. So we, um, we just want to bring that. And then please, some of you have made wonderful, wonderful suggestions about other topics for coffees with Gina and friends. I know we're looking for some uh, presentation around neuropathy. We're looking for presentations around integrative medicines and, and integrative health practices, I should say. So we're looking for all those and thanks to all of you for suggesting those. So with that, I want to again echo Sharon in thanking all of you for your amazing support. So pleased to see all of you on the call today. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me or anybody on our team. And as Christmas approaches, we just want to thank you again for being our friends and being part of the Sun Health family. So cheers to all of you. Stay happy, stay healthy, and please stay in touch. So we'll see you in 2022. Stay well, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Jim, for the thumbs up. All right, good, 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 good.
Bye bye. Bye. Thanks, Lou. Thank you. Outstanding. Wonderful. Wonderful. Excellent. She did a great job.